Hello, it's lesson 7. You can download document file for your study. Now, let's begin. Zibi, wo fei shang er zhi zhi zhe, hao gu mi ni qiu zhi zhe ye. The master said, I am not one who was born knowing everything. I am one who loves antiquity and seeks knowledge with an earnest mind. Kong zi shuo, wo bu shi shang lai jiu zhi dao de ya. 而是爱好古代文化, Confucius said, Wo is I, my, or me in English. I, Fei means to be not. Remember, Bu is just not, but Fei means to be not. I am not. Sheng means to live, to be born, or to bear. To bear means to give birth to someone, right? It's to be born in this sentence. R means and, zhi to know, zhi it. Now we have zhe here. It makes relative clause, right? 我非, I am not, 生而知之者, one who was born knowing it. I am not one who was born knowing it. So, we have a question. What did he know? The object pronoun zhi can indicate general things like here, knowing everything. In the second line, we can fill up 我, I am, 好古, 迷你求知者也. This word has positive meanings. It reads the third tone, 好, for to be good and reads the fourth tone how for to like or to love gu the past antiquity or ancient so we translate it like love antiquity because i read this one how gu right love antiquity and mean to be earnest or earnestness sometimes the object of yi can be preposed like here. So, mean yi is the same as yi mean with earnestness. Qiu means to seek or to request. Seek it. Seek knowledge. Now, we met zhe again, so need to make a relative. I am one who loves antiquity and seek knowledge with earnestness. Zibi, wo fei sheng er zhi zhi zhe, hao gu mi ni qiu zhi zhe ye. The master said, I am not one who was born knowing everything. I am one who loves antiquity and seeks knowledge with an earnest mind. Thank you for watching. Oh, if you have questions, Please leave your comment.